What's up guys, Icebreaker back. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the universal remote, um, otherwise known as Sparky Hacking, where you can take control of an enemy's defenses um, to make it fire upon other defenses or get other defenses to fire upon it, um, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Um, first thing you need to do is you can hack any standard defense, sniper tower, cannon, um, shock launcher, rocket launcher, anything like that, you can hack them all. Um, you can't hack prototypes, so your doom cannons, shield gens, boom surprise, grappler, shot blaster, uh, simo, all of those ones, you cannot hack those, um, so don't try. Uh, you can see on here I've got level 1 universal remote, and that's because um, you don't really need to upgrade it for the way that we use it. So... On here, I'm going to show you now. Show you sort of the basic target inside of things. Um, I've got all my defenses all clamped together here, like so. I'm going to put Sparky in the little open gap in the middle. Now, when I press hack, when I press the um, remote button, she'll uh, select the nearest defense, which is the machine gun in this case. And then when the smoke expires, she'll hack it. And you can see there that uh, the boom cannons, machine guns, snipers and stuff all turned on it really fast and took it out really quick. So uh, that's why you don't bother upgrading it. Because when you upgrade the remote, all it does is add the damage that the hack defense will do to other defenses. But as you can see, it was taken out so fast that it wouldn't have time to do much damage anyway. So you don't really need to, uh, to really waste any tokens on upgrading it. Okay, so that's sort of basic hacking. She'll hack um, defenses that are closest to her. Um, there's another side to her um, targeting, targeting um, mechanism. And that is, if you're grinding your way through a base and you've got heavies and zookas and sparky on the ground, you're um, destroying defenses and you press the hack button, what will happen is she will select the, de the, she'll select the defense with the highest percentage of damage. Okay, so what that means is, out of all the defenses that you're attacking, the one that has the most damage is the one that she will select if it's in range. Um, so this is how you can control the hacks, and you see people doing double hacks and stuff. This is using the, using that um, game mechanic to your advantage. So what I'll do is demonstrate, I'm going to tag that cannon just there. So now that cannon's the... Um, defense with the highest percentage damage because it's the only damage that's done to any defenses and now when I get up into the smoke even though the cannon is not the closest defense that sniper tower would be you can see that she selected the cannon and hacks the cannon and again it's taken out before um, it can do any damage to anything else okay so that's um, her target inside if there's damage done to defenses in range she will uh, target the one with the highest percentage of defense damage to the defense now that 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 um, mechanic there of targeting and uh, damage with the most the defense with the most damage sorry is how you can control your double hacks um, but we'll get into that in a second so what I want to show you is is if you want to say take out only one defense so let's say for that middle rocket launcher there if i want to take out just that one rocket launcher and nothing else all i need to do is drop a smoke put sparky down then you're going to press hack whilst you're on the beach and then flare the rocket launcher you want taken out now the reason why you do that is because if you flare up to the rocket launcher first and then press hack She'll um, automatically select the defense that's closest to her or the one that has the most damage done to it. You see there that she um, took the rocket launcher out, the one that I flared. So you always press hack before you flare your targets. And that ha that's every single time. <clears throat> now, using those two um, game mechanics to your advantage is how you control your double hacks. Um, the way to do this is I'm going to use the side of the mechanics that says that she'll target uh, the defense with the most damage and I'm going to mark 
um, this cannon, which will be our second hack. Now we know we know that when Sparky's put in this little square, when I press the hack button, she's going to target that that um, cannon there because it's got the highest percentage of damage. But if I then flare the shock launcher, she'll hack that one first, and then if I tap the hack button hack button straight away again, she'll target the cannon and she'll hack that as well. Things to remember when you're doing this though is both defenses need to be in range of Sparky at the same time. You can't have Sparky on one side of the map hacking a cannon and expect her to double hack something else that's out of range. Both defenses, when you're double hacking, need to be in range of Sparky at exactly the same time. Otherwise, she'll just hack the nearest building or another building that has the highest percentage of damage in range. Okay, so we'll drop Sparky and we'll go up to the gap. Once she's reached the flare, I shall press the hack button and you'll see her select the cannon. Like that. I'm then going to flare the shock launcher. And then as the smoke expires, and she throws the first one, you just tap the button again and she'll hack both. It's really simple, guys. It is really easy. Once you understand the game mechanics behind the targeting system, um, it you know it becomes it becomes a lot easier to get your head around how to do it. Um, I'll show you again. This time I'm going to mark that flamethrower, and that will be my second hack because it's the only building with damage to it. I'm going to drop Spiky again, put her up to the little gap. So now when I press hack, it will be the flamethrower that she selects. But then I'm going to control that hack and put it on this shock launcher. And again, as the smoke expires, I'm just going to tap the hack button again. And the flamethrower goes down as well, as it was, you know, awesome. Their automatic selection selected the building with the most damage. So yeah, that's how you control the double hacks, guys. You can do a lot more as well if you've got the GBE and there's not much damage doing, you know, not many defenses nearby that will kill Spiky really quick. You can do three hacks, fours. I've seen five people do fives. Um, it's all about how fast you can tap that button. Um, one of the things you can do um, to give you a few extra seconds or if you've lost the, um, lost the delay, and you've got lasers or um, machine guns and stuff really close by. What you can do is, is I'm going to mark that cannon again for my second. Press the hack, flare the shock launcher, and I'm going to put critters down in as well. Now the critters in the smoke will distract just for a look, just long enough for Spiky to throw the second or the third hack out. Um, just enough distraction, just to, so that you've got plenty of time to get both hacks done. Critters in the smoke isn't always needed, especially if you've got the delay. Doing doing two hacks is, is really, really fast. Getting a third out takes a little bit longer. It takes her about a second, a second and a half to throw the third hack. <clears throat> but again, if you wanted to do three, all you'd have to do is mark a third defense or you know, know which one's um, got the highest percentage of damage so that you know what she's going to select in and in what order. And then just flare the one that's got the most health and then keep tapping the button and she'll keep hacking stuff in that order. Either what's closest or what has the highest percentage of damage or what's in range to her at the same time. So yeah, that's Spiky Hacking, guys. I hope that helps. I know lots of people want to learn how to do this, this stuff. So I'll share the video. And if you um, still don't get it, we need some more help. Feel free to ask, and I shall try, try and try. Let's get you all guys hacking, yeah. Good luck, guys. Have fun.